If you see the link between the air pollution and lung diseases, there's a direct link. Even laymen can understand what we breathe in the lung, and that's why if we are if we are breathing the not breathing the clean air, we will have a lot of uh, lung diseases. You can live without food for three weeks. You can live without water for three days, but you cannot live without uh, air or breathing for, for more than, than three minutes. Globally also, that out of the 10 people, nine people, they are not getting clean air to breathe. The persons who are having, who are exposed to the air pollution, their airways are inflamed. They are having bronchospasm. They are having sputum production, flame. And that's why they are more susceptible of, for diseases like pneumonia, pulmonary tuberculosis, asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and lung, lung cancer. cancer. And that is why the cases usually in last 10 years, they have increased, especially from October to March. This out of the 12 months in a year, six months are more vulnerable for having such type of diseases. So in nutshell, I can say that air pollution is a major health uh, concern of the country, our Uttar Pradesh and throughout the world. And I think we should be aware of health hazards of the air pollution and whatever the measures you should take, you should take, for example, plantation drive, for example, public transport is used, for example, following the norms of construction, no smoking, I mean, such kind of things uh, we should do so that we can, uh, we can decline the air pollution, we can have the clean air for, to breathe, because it is the clean air which, you, which makes you healthy, and it is the air polluted air which makes you disease. So I think uh, we have to follow these all norms, preventive measures, to remain healthy and to remain disease free.